someone's taken Rotherstein to Nicole. We're off to the wards of Shortland Street. Well, um, if you're not too tired, maybe I could cash in on that dinner promise tonight. Hello. Well, sit down. Uh, tell me what happened. <clears throat> Sarah, I've got to go. I'll call you back. Sarah and Daniel are, are such a huge part of your life. I think it'll be a lot easier for both of us if we're just friends. How did you even know that they were at the IV? Please don't tell me that the police are on their way. The police are not involved. Not yet. But I really think I should tell them. Why would you do that? Because those men could have died. Now, where is Brody? I'm assuming he's the idiot that got them plastered in the first place. Brody is my responsibility. And you are mine. Dad, I can handle this. This is my bar and my problem. And I will make sure that this never happens again. You better. Come on, Bells. I told you to be ready at eight on the dot. I need to zip to the supermarket and grab some food for the kids' lunches. You go. I lost everything I did this morning, so I'm still playing catch-up. Oh, what a bugger. Tell me about it. Will you be long? All I know is I've got to get this finished, otherwise Leo's going to spew. Oh, you poor thing. And you had a late one last night too, didn't you? Still, I guess you'll be racking up the overtime. Wait, you are racking up the overtime, aren't you? There's a lot of stuff I still have to get on top of. Software, spreadsheets, things I can't even pronounce. I'll see you at home. Well, oh, don't work too late, again. Otherwise, we might start to forget what you look like. Well, we can't have that. Why don't you take off with your mum? Oh, it's OK. Besides, I haven't even started on those contracts that you wanted in the morning. They can wait. Are you sure? Bella, when the boss says it can wait, you just say thank you and grab your bag. Thank you. That goes for me too. Hubby's away at the moment, so I could do with this one's help. There you go. Well, he's a sweetie, isn't he? That was absolutely delicious, thank you. No, leave it. I'll do them. But you cooked. And I'll wash up as well. OK. But first we have dessert. And you have a choice. Good old-fashioned pav or tiramisu. Why do I suddenly get the feeling I'm being butted up? I know we live in cynical times, but can't a man shower his fiancée with love and affection without there being an ulterior motive? Not in my experience, no. Oh. Come on, out with it. OK, then. The surgical ward. How would you feel about working a shift tomorrow? I'm not a surgical nurse. Why don't you get someone from the Bureau who actually knows what they're doing? Because there's nothing left in the Bureau nurse budget for surgical. But if you agree to swap, then I can organise a Bureau nurse for ED instead. Right, because there's still money left in the pot for ED. Bingo. You could try asking Leo to stretch the surgical budget. Yes, you're right, I could, if I could ever track him down. Go on, what do you say? I don't know. Surgical nursing? It's not really my idea of a good time. A change is as good as a rest. A rest? Who are you trying to kid? Surgical is hard work and you know it. <sighs> okay, with the promise of a foot rub, after your shift, swing it. Okay, okay, fine. I will do it. But this foot rub, it had better be long and it had better be good. I offered to call them a cab, but they wanted to walk. How was I supposed to know that the idiots were going to get behind a wheel? What difference does it make? You shouldn't have served them after hours and you shouldn't have allowed them to take alcohol off the premises. You knew that. OK, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. So did I when I put you in charge. Hey, that's not fair. I've been doing a really good job here. We're raking it in. Those guys could have died, Brody. Well, apart from that bit. This is all my fault. I should have been keeping more of an eye on things. But instead, I was running around after Bella because I felt sorry for her. Why would you feel sorry and for And when Bella? I think about it, I was looking for an excuse to keep out of your way. So from now on, we need to do things strictly by the books, and that includes following the liquor licensing rules, all of them. Got it? Scouts on it. This isn't a joke. No, I know. And from now on, you come to me before you make any managerial decisions. And I will think properly before I say yes or no. So how long are you keeping me on a short leash for? You're not even at leash stage. You're officially in the dog box until further notice. What does that mean? That means that tomorrow morning, you can work in the CAF. Hey, 
through rugby practice. It's still like, ah. Morning. Your phone just keeps phoning me over and over again. Lucky it's a rugby practice. I hope I didn't make too much of a record when I came in last night. I tried not to disturb you. And Tanya. Where is she? Tanya didn't stay the night. That's what you want to know, isn't it? Right, I shouldn't have bothered tiptoeing down the hall. Maybe next time she comes over, you, you could let me know when the date's wrapping up. And There's only a next time. Oh, you guys aren't, um... Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure you are. So what happened? None of my business. Fine. Look, um... She's got it into her head that I'm always going to have a thing for Sarah. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Look, is this about you running around after Daniel? Because if it is, Tanya's being pretty self-centred, to be honest. And as for Sarah, well, she's just plain wrong, isn't she? Who knows? Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. All I know is she made the call to end it, so it's over. Before it even started. Brody! Hey! Oh, hey! Are you okay? You look stressed. Just like me the other day when I had to learn this new slideshow thingy, I almost went cross-eyed. Listen, things have been crazy at work, but look, I was thinking... Bella, I'm, I'm really sorry. I really have to overfoot. What are you doing here anyway? I'm working in the cafe today. How come? There's been some drama at the bar with Soph. That's great. Not that there's been dramas, but now we can move for coffee when I have a break. We'll, we'll see how we go. Um, I'll catch you later. You sure will? Tracy, make sure you've completed all of Mr. Steeple's paperwork and give him his beta blocker before surgery. You with Jennifer this morning? Not Isaac. What did I just say? You said Jennifer. There you go then. Right, that's everyone. Any other questions? Can I finish early? No. But I'm I don't want to hear it, Kara. Were you about to say something? Uh, no. Right, what's that then? Welcome aboard, Tracy. Great to have you with us, Tracy. She's been in a mood since she woke up. She went on another date with TK last night. Maybe it didn't go so well. I assume I have the pleasure of your company in theatre this morning? Actually, no. I'm with Jennifer again. I thought we sorted all this. I'm sorry? First you give Nicole to Jennifer, then you give her back to me. Now she's back with Jennifer. What are the rules of this game? I'm not playing any games. Jennifer asked specifically for Nicole, and I just said yes, because you're supposed to be in Melbourne. Not till tomorrow. Yeah, I realised that after I said yes, but I didn't want to muck her around, and I was hoping you'd understand. What's wrong? Not the day you were all sweetness and light, now you're back to pure vinegar. I have three words for you, Isaac. Get over yourself. Yeah. Don't miss TK. Definitely didn't go so well. Definitely. Ready for me? He should be. Well, is he or isn't he? I'll have to check with Tracy, okay? She was the one looking after him. What? You and TK. What went wrong? No, let me guess. My personal life is none of your business, Isaac. That bad, huh? What's he smiling about? Mr. Steeple, is he ready for theatre? I have finished his paperwork. I still need to give him his beta blocker, though. I'll go do that now. So he's not ready? Sorry, I'm still getting used to things. I've been a bit behind. I'm not interested in excuses, Tracy. All I'm interested in is you doing your job properly. Have you got it? I'm sorry. I should never have spoken to you like that. I was out of line. It's OK. It seems like you're having a bit of a rough day. Oh, rough doesn't even begin to describe it. You can tell me to back off, but does this have anything to do with TK? OK. You don't need to tell me. But if you do need to talk to someone later, it's then... Sarah. It's Sarah. Last night, it just kind of snuck up and hit me that she's always going to be a part of his life. And I don't think I can handle that. I don't, I don't think I want to handle that. No matter how much I like him, I just... It's too hard. Are you sure? I'm sorry. Me too. Isaac's loving it, though. Oh, what I'd do to wipe that smug smile off his face. Don't let him get to you. Yeah, well, he is. That is exactly what he wants. Don't give him the satisfaction. Hey, I'm holding you up. You'd better go and sort out that better blocker. Knock-off time, though. We'll go get a drink, and you can vent all you like. What do you say? I say roll on, knock-off. So, you were a nip-tucker before you came here. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Dealing with desperate housewives and more than a few desperate husbands. Most of whom had more money than sense. And are you enjoying reconstructive surgery? Oh, leaves cosmetic surgery for dead. I'm helping people that need something change rather than just want it. Frankly, I'm loving it. Oh, 
Leo, I wanted to pick your brain about my contract. What about it? I'm currently employed 16th in the public sector and the rest is private work. And? And I'm hoping I can be employed full-time doing publicly funded operations. See, the thing is... I think if it's a contract issue, you really should discuss it with Callum and Chris. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I just want that clarified. Like I said, I think you should discuss it with Callum and Chris. I'll let them know to expect an email from you today. Wow. Was it me or did he just fob me off? Maybe he's shy. Shy? No, rude, yes. Well, give him a break. He's the new kid on the block. So am I. Well, maybe he takes a little bit longer to warm up. And as president of the social club, maybe I need to give him a helping hand. <laughs> well, good luck with it, because I suspect you're going to need it. Pick up the phone, Brody. You are under my power, Brody. You'll need to talk to accounts. Putting you through now. Leo, how can I help? How are we getting on with those contracts I gave you to type up? Here, all done. All with a pretty little hit, just right. Excellent. You haven't needed any help from your little friend today? Sophie? Oh, she was just showing me this one thing. I didn't really need her help. Besides, it sounds like she's got her hands full with her own job today. Is there something else you wanted me to do? Uh, there is. Take an early lunch. Really? Well, these look good to me. I think you've earned it, don't you? Shut up! I mean, thanks, Leo. Uh, Jennifer has a question about her contract. She'll be emailing you later today. Uh, you can't deal with it? Well, I could, of course, but it was very clear she'd be more comfortable discussing it with you or Chris, someone higher up than me. All right, uh, I'll follow up. By the way, did you manage to have a chat with Sophie about that little matter we discussed? Oh, we had a chat, all right. Not one that either of us particularly enjoyed, to be honest. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. No, not at all. She didn't know what was going on under her own nose. She was horrified. Uh, but she should be thanking you. You didn't mention my name, though, did you? Or it's just that since I'm staying at the IV, it could put me in an awkward position. Mate, relax. She didn't know it was you, and she doesn't need to. You owe me. Big time. Come on, the surgical ward can't be that bad. You want to bet? The sooner I am back in ED, the better. In fact, the only thing keeping me going is the promise of that foot rub later tonight. Tanya. What about her? How do you think she's doing as charge nurse? Why are you asking me? A patient complained that she snapped at her this morning. You mean Mrs. Burke? She wanted her dressing changed right there and then, and Tanya told her she'd have to wait until someone was free to do so. Told her or snapped at her? It wasn't that bad. I know you guys are mates, but... Do you really think she's coping as charge nurse? Be honest, now. Yeah, of course she is. Uh, let me take over there. Yeah, okay. Where have you been? I had to go and get some change. Mama, I had an early lunch, so I thought we could get a coffee or something. But now I've only got a few minutes left. Oh, uh, another time. What are you up to after work? Oh, I haven't even thought that far ahead. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Are you sure? You still look a little tense. No. Here. This will help you relax. Um, Bella, I'm trying to work. My thumbs are really strong, eh? <laughs> um, did you want a hand across the road? No, everything's under control. What I do need is to meet with you first thing tomorrow morning so we can go over your new shifts. My new shifts? Yeah. Fine. See you, Bella. Bye. Ooh, she's in a bad mood. Did you do something wrong? Uh, long story. Why don't you tell me about it after work? Uh, we'll see. Uh, here you go, guys. Saved it especially for you. Mm. I earned that, if I do so say it myself. So did you. Here, here. Nice man, Redith. He looks kind of lonely over there, don't you think? Maybe we should ask him to join us. <laughs> you can. Me? I'm off home for a nice warm bath. I am so over being home alone. Go on, stay for one. Let me know if you manage to melt any of that ice. Can I please have another wine and whatever Leo's drinking? Okay. Relax, it's not like that. I'm just being friendly. 
It's your money. Take a seat and I'll bring them right over. Mm. Nicole, from Shortland Street. I've seen you round. Mind if I join you? Ashley, I was just about to head upstairs. Well, you can't. I've just ordered you a drink. You don't even know what I'm drinking. I asked Sophie. Why would you buy a virtual stranger a drink? So that they're not a stranger anymore? I'm president of the social club at work. I heard you just moved here from Singapore, and I figured you probably don't know anyone, so why don't you start by getting to know me? Here you go. Cheers. And cheers to you. Here's to new friends. <laughs> Heard your date with Tony went down the gurgler. Trust me, you dodged a bullet there, mate. Would you send me? She's high maintenance, that one. But I guess you figured that out since you've done it. You don't know what you're on about. Easy on. You've got no business a... talking about Tony like that. What's your problem? I'm on What's your my side? problem? Uh, forget it. You're... Forget it. Um, it's not worth it. <clears throat> no, no, it's not worth it. Hey. Hey. Hey, um, do me a favour. Um, stop talking to people about us, because, as you pointed out, there is no us. I, I, I... No, no, I'm sick of everyone knowing my business. What did you do? Don't look at me. You managed to stuff that one up all on your own. Another round? The hostess with the mostess. Two for the road? Why not? I'll bring them right over. See? Wasn't this better than heading upstairs to your room? I was just going to watch a film on my laptop. Anyone in particular? The usual suspects. Do you know him? Is that the one with Kevin Spacey and he's a con man? And he spins this big story and he gets away with everything in the end? It's my favourite film. I had a really cool twist. What's that funny name he used now? It was K Kai... Kaiser Kai Soze. That's right. He was really good in that film. But I'm glad you chose a date with me over one with Kevin Spacey. In fact, I think I might have taken it personally if you hadn't. <laughs> nice to see you two. What do you want? I'm busy. I have to review Mr Scott's wound in the morning. So? So, can you make sure someone takes the dressing down before I do my rounds? Do it yourself. Excuse me? You heard me. I know we don't have to get on in our personal lives, but we still do need to work together. Unfortunately. So I suggest you put aside whatever pathetic personal grievance you have and... You said something to TK, didn't you, before in the cafe? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, right. Like you have no idea how his screensaver got changed into a slideshow of Sarah. Can you call me pathetic? You're the pathetic one. Behold the ravings of a lunatic. With all due respect, Isaac, why don't you stop baiting her? I'm not the one hurling insults and stopping me from doing my job. Actually, that's debatable. You need to sort your nurses out, mate. This one's giving me grief, and this one isn't much better. Details, please. Ask them. Tanya? I need a break. Well? Tracy. You better start talking to me right now. Brody? Brody! Are you done for the day? Yeah, I'm out of here. I've just got to finish this photocopying, then I'm done too. If you wait, we could go have a drink. Oh, I'm really not in the mood, eh? Oh, we could get a movie and watch it at your place. Another time, maybe? Well, you said that earlier, so technically now is another time. Tomorrow night. We'll play it by air, eh? Come on, it can't be that bad. It's Brody. I gave him a shoulder rub at the cafe this afternoon and he totally just gave me the brush off. It's like he's not even interested in me. If Brody isn't interested, then stuff him. It's his loss. The uh, chef's trying something new with the wedges. Mm, they're delicious. It declined again, sorry. Oh, the bank was supposed to transfer some money over this morning. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah, here, I'll, um, I'll pay cash. Four, five... Uh, don't worry about it, just pay next time you're in. I'm so sorry. Don't be silly. Plus, I know where you live. Huh. 
But what about Tanya? I need to know if you're keen, yes or no. Do you really think I can do it? I wouldn't be asking otherwise. Can I have a little bit of time to think about it? It's just so unexpected. Look, I know it's putting you on the spot, but I sort of need to know right away. Well, it is a great opportunity and a real challenge. So the answer is... The answer is yes. Hoping you'll say that. I'll see you tomorrow, first thing. Okay. Oh, and Scotty, thank you. Scotty just asked me to be charge nurse. Yay! <laughs> now you're powerful, just like me. Welcome to the club. It's a scary club. Well, telling people what to do and when to do it, that's not scary. It's what we were born for. Hang on. I can't be charging us with a hangover. Look how much I've drunk. I should go and tell her. No, no, just use my personal motto. When in doubt, wing it out. OK, trade secret, you ready? Hell yeah. Poker face. Just a nod. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Then just walk away. It's all you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not on my first day. This is my last one. Then I'm off. Then I can be a bright and shiny boss tomorrow. Hey, you still keen for that drink? Not with you. Excuse me? What did you say to Scotty? What's happened? He just demoted me. You're kidding. No. No, he doesn't think I'm cutting it as charge nurse. Thanks to you. What makes you think it's something that I said? Because you tracked me down just after I left the two of you at the nurse's station. So come on, what did you say? Nothing. Oh, please. He wanted to know what Isaac's beef was, and so I told him you guys were a little scratchy with each other and you were just a tiny bit stressed, that's all. Well, you'd be stressed too if your ex was stirring every five seconds. Honestly, Tanya, I am as surprised by this as you are. I thought you were my friend, Tracy. I thought you had my back. I didn't know you were going to stab it. We're churning out the tunes later here on One as Evie Nisulawan and John Creedon take us to the Flakyol at half past eight. Next, the hearing approaches, but Jess's health takes a turn for the worse in today's Doctors.